Hey everybody, Jonathan Blair here. So, what am I doing here? Well, I'll tell you what I'm not doing. I'm not doing a comparison of these drones. They really are not um, even in the same class, really. Uh, people are not going to cross shop a Mini 3 Pro and a Mavic 3 Pro. It's just not happening. So, but I do want to point out a couple of things. Just some observations from having all three. These are the three current best-in-class drones in each size and weight class. I guess price, too. So, starting the obvious spot with the Mini 3 Pro, this is a killer application. They were able to prove that in a 249-gram drone, you could have it all. And other people tried it. I certainly, there were plenty of folks out there trying to design a Mini 2 that had everything. And that was the problem. They had to actually revamp the entire platform and the way you did it in order to make this all work. To get the cooling to work was the bottom line. You had to get the cooling for the processing you needed to do all of this work. The obstacle avoidance and all the flight modes. So they did it. Anyway, so there it is. I've got, uh, you'll see I have three batteries here on each of these, and yet I have a battery in the drone. And that's because I like four. I like to be able to charge three and have one in the drone. Okay, so we get, uh, for filters. I don't believe there's an official filter set from DJI for the, Air, for the Mini 3 Pro. If I'm wrong, please correct me. But I don't see one out there that comes from DJI. So I have the free will all day or bright day it's six and it gives you a, a really good good combination of almost everything you need i have the wide angle lens for it which i enjoy this is not something you're going to see flying at 120 meters you're going to see that much difference it's going to look the same except a tiny bit wider where it pays off is if you're flying in close canopy of trees between two buildings uh, up close to things, you'll see the sides of the frame will change and get more dramatic with a wide angle. So that's good. You end up with a 15.5 millimeter uh, instead of 24 millimeter. Okay, Air 3. So here, uh, everybody, what can I tell you? Everybody knows this drone now. So I will tell you this. I did get um, the, the filters for this and they mirrored both pieces of glass they did not split the filter set, so it's the same number of stops light reduction for both lenses, which I think was a missed opportunity, because on the Mavic 3 Pro, we have a split set. They actually took the 166 millimeter, so they took this one here, and they made it less number of stops uh, in light reduction, because that camera doesn't gather as much light, so they kind of evened it up using these filters, and I think it was brilliant that they did that. Why they didn't do it on Air 3, I don't know, but Free Will will probably step in the breach and go ahead and make split filters since they did the original ones for the OG Mavic 3. But, probably a lost opportunity there. Anyway, they're good filters though. Got the wide angle lens for this, just came out, received it yesterday. This one gives you a 14 millimeter, so you drop from 24 to 14 millimeter. It's a nice wide shot. And again, useful in those same circumstances. Then I have the wide angle for the Mavic 3, and this one is 15.5, same as you get for the Mini 3 Pro. It's pricey, about 180 bucks, as you can see, it's a, you know, it's a pretty fancy built, uh, lens that you're adding on there, and it probably costs more to make it. So there you go. I have the plastic cover on there to match his little brother, because putting on that thing is just sometimes a bit of a pain in the butt. I mean, it works well, it holds the props. Another observation, I have Master Air Scoop props on this guy to lower his pitch and just soften his sound a little. He's not the quietest drone, I'll tell you. He's okay, he's quieter than drones in the past, but those help a lot on this one, much more than they do on little drones. It makes a big difference on this guy. And they just came out for the Air 3. So, Master Air Screw is shipping on September 7th. If you want to go, go ahead and get orders, I don't have a link. I don't do affiliates. But um, I did order them, and they may send me all the colors, as they usually do, so I can sample them and show them. There's blue, there's orange, there's uh, black. They do not have the red, and I want the red. I think the red looks really good on gray. 
And what else can I tell you? This controller, the RC, has its problems with transmission. It's not particularly a really strong signal with this thing. It works. And it just works better for close-in work. It's not really good for, for challenging transmission situations. This guy's 04, and I don't have to tell you. He gets penetration. He gets range. He does it all and does it all really well. I got went out and did a range test. I got... Uh, 2.7 miles with this guy, 3.7 miles with this guy, so that's almost 25% difference, or is 25%, so that was pretty good. Anyway, that's about all I had to say on these, they all have their Achilles heel, this one it's transmission, this one it's compatibility with previous drones, this one's a little bit of a cobbled feel in terms of how the cameras work with each other. But all of these are fantastic drones and worth, uh, you know, worth the investment depending on what you have to spend and what you want to do. Anyway, I'm going to get them out in the field and do some more um, subtle, uh, not comparisons, but just pointing out some things that they do well and share that with you. All right, everybody. Have a good one. I'll see you on the next one.